they're running out. That's what I hear, Clope. I hear that it's really rough. I got to prepare for it. it. Crab, good evening. So good to see you. Oh, Captain Duck, congratulations on getting a new job, my friend. I'm so glad to hear that it's going well. That's awesome. Um, yes, this is the same file of RimWorld, Captain Duck, that I've been playing for like over a year. Simple meal rotted away in storage. Well, that happens too, I guess. Um, I gotta see... I don't know where they put that, but... Stop putting food in. All food should go here from now on. Alright. Okay. We're back on top. Onisan is, uh... In a better mood. Oh, she has... She got catharsis. This is a huge mood bonus after the tantrum. Um, so she's going to be in a great mood now. Let's see how Stanton's doing. He's down to 14.1 resistance. So eventually, you know... 18.3. I mean, Lucky... Lucky's pulling it together. The stomach wound is no good. The head being hit with a bullet is also bad, but... Or I guess a charge rifle. Still pretty decent. You know what I mean? Okay. So... Well, we're rolling. Oh, I know, Clope. Those... I, I had a string there where I had, like, three of those defoliator ships in a row. They are no fun. I usually just try to launch heavy artillery at them with my mortar. Speaking of mortar, I need to make some shells. Let me put that on the old list. Um, high explosive shell, that would be good. Um, EMP shell, that would also be good. Go ahead, get that up there. Alright. Oh, he started to roam away. Somebody is repairing the, the fence. It's just going to take a second to get it fixed. So the animal handlers are having a field day of disaster. I'm going to have to tell somebody to focus on this. Um, he's hauling components. That's okay. He's cutting a tree here. Prioritize building the fence. Finish that up. Here. Yeah, prioritize building that fence. No, no, no. Stop what you're doing. Build the fence. Okay, it's hard because the animals keep walking through it. There you go. We got the fence fixed. I mean, her little tantrum, she could have blown something up which would have been worse, but I was less than ideal. All right, sweet. Oh, it looks like we got all the dye picked up. That's cool. Um, I'm going to try to select all of the shelves. It's hard to do it. I don't really want wood on any of these. I want it at the wood stockpile. It's just taking up too much space. Wood. Um... Want to nah, that's fine. You know, I guess I could just build more shelves. It's not the end of the world. That'll help you hold stuff.
What's the big square with light inside? Um, oh, these right here, Captain Duck? These are my geothermal generators. Hey, nice, Cloak. Cool. The 11 by 11 strat? I don't know anything about that, my friend. I gotta tell you, this is my first um, game of RimWorld, and I haven't really watched any guides or anything, so uh, I'm learning as I go. Yeah, Captain Duck, it provides a huge amount of power. So wherever, Captain Duck, you see like how there are these steam geysers coming out of the ground? You can use these and build a geothermal generator on top, and they produce so much power. They're great. Yeah, like, at first you start out with very little. Like, I had these wind turbines going, and they're okay, you know. And then I, I upgraded and I built all these water mill generators. And these are really good too. But once you can get even stronger, you can, like you have more technology, you can build these. Providing you have geysers on your map. Oh, I see. Every room is 11 by 11. No, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not, um, I'm unfortunately a very inefficient player. I do more of like a organic approach what's funny too is if you watch this this room right here was just the starter room that i built from the tutorial and then i just kept adding on to it and then once this building got too big um you know i built more but i had the wall in my base and things have grown oh um brexio created a masterwork wooden shelf this is worth celebrating Nothing like that masterwork shelf. That's great. All right, so how are we doing? We have a 1,000 meat stored, and we're doing great on food. Okay, that's terrific. Um, how are our traps looking? They're working on it. Okay, this is good. I'm going to mine some more stone uh, at some point just to... Oh, you know what? I don't need to mine stone. We've got granite all day long over here. Uh, we can haul these, and we can haul all of these. And I'm going to just have people pick up all this stone and take it into the base so that we can cut these into blocks because we need a ton of blocks uh, for building walls. I'm actually going to go ahead and build... Um, here, let me just select a shelf and... Oop. build a copy of it I'm going to build like oh she cuts them right here uh, let's see I'm going to build right here and here these shelves are going to be for stone only <laughs> yeah Clope oh okay thank you my friend yeah granite is super durable you're right slate is like usually more plentiful but yeah, granite has, like, if you look at the durability, granite has 510 durability, and slate only has 390. So if I'm trying to make a strong wall, you're absolutely right. Granite is the is the way of it. And we got another masterwork. Man, she made another sweet shelf. So awesome. All right. Uh, on these shelves, I'm going to... Just select this one, and I'm going to say storage. It's going to be critical priority. We're going to clear everything except for stone chunks. Well, blocks is fine, but no, no, no. I want it to just be stone of anything. Where do stone pieces go? Haha, <laughs> yeah, don't take it for granite or granite. That's right. Yeah, these workers are crazy, Aqua Knight. They're building awesome stuff. I don't have any of the DLCs, not yet. 
Um, I might definitely purchase some when I finish this game. This is just, I only have the base game and I don't have any mods. Yeah, so for this, look at this. Uh, I did, oh, it goes, it's chunks. Oh, but chunks can't go on a shelf, that's why. Okay, well, then there you go. So what I'm gonna do instead then is I'm gonna build a little, what's this stockpile? Okay, here's what I want. This is gonna be critical priority for not steel, not wood, just chunks. Yeah, it's great, Cloak. So you beat the game, Aqua Knight, by you have to build this spaceship, which I'm working on, and then you have to launch it into space with your colonists to escape the planet. But it's really, really hard to do from what I understand. Once you start trying to take off, everybody on the planet will become alerted to it, and they will come try to kill you to take your spaceship. So you have to be able to, like, defend it. Oh, Weaves created a small granite masterwork sculpture. On this carving is the portrayal of Brexio Gerbil brutally slaying a rhinoceros with cold efficiency. The rhinoceros and Brexio are both covered in innards. <laughs> the work is shaded in hues of red and blue. This depiction tells the story of the defeating of the rhinoceros by Brexio with a minigun on the 11th of Jugust 5505. How awesome is that? And we were, um, we were attacked by a, like, man-hunting rhinoceros. The body is still here. It came, and, yeah, it was a, a minigun annihilation. It's so awesome. Okay, Aqua Knight, thank you so much, my friend. Take care. Have a great night. Now, look at this. It... I didn't think it was possible, but we're working on it. Ooh, look at this. Good at plants and social. Okay, we're going to have a grower. Resistance down to 5.9, so we can change them actually to recruit. And then uh, we'll still have to wear them down, of course. Let's see how they're doing. They're at 11.1. We're getting there. What are you good at? Okay. Good at fighting, crafting, artistic. Great. Okay. That's fine. We need anybody. More bodies is fantastic. Let me go to, um, make sure everybody, yeah, people can go anywhere they want. And zones. Um, yeah, let me expand the home area to include all of this just in case this catches on fire. Uh, we kind of, you know, want this to be included. They will only put stuff out if it catches on fire, if it's in the home area. So I've got to make sure to have all of this selected. And then sometimes they'll select stuff like outside of your base, which is less than ideal. Ooh, look at this. They actually built these. Let me go to power. And build some power conduits. They couldn't build it through this, so I have to kind of like um, build it like that. Oh, we got a visitor. A cave builder is visiting the colony. Oh, all right. Have I ever touched mods? Not yet, Clope. I'm waiting until I either finish the game or die before I touch mods. All right, so let me send, um, you know, Onisan. Uh, she's actually trying to recruit Stanton. Uh, we got it down to 5.4, which is good. She's going to go eat some chocolate, but let me... Um, we'll trade with this guy when he gets a little closer. He's going to come inside. Usually when just some lone person comes, they have, like, absolute garbage to trade. But maybe this person has something. We'll see. Let's see what they got. All right. So they have pemmican, herbal medicine, and 
a steel axe. And that's it. All right, I'll take all your pemmican and all your medicine. And I'm going to give you some garbage for it, okay? So you will buy from me uh, this, these bad bows, okay? And you have 112 silver, so I'm going to try to get all of their money. You can have this terrible staff, um, this spear. You can, yep, that's for you. And uh, do I have anything else that I want to give you that's terrible? Oh, right. Can you carry this granite sculpture? Okay, yep. And they're going to give me 107. Oh, cool. Thank you. I love that. Yeah, I. those are really cool ideas. Yeah, being able to zoom in closer. Um, definitely. And out further, I like that a ton. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually excited to see how many mods I can get that will enhance gameplay. I don't want to cheat or anything like that, but there's so many quality of life things that people have told me about, about building and, you know, just some small little tweaks here and there that make the experience more enjoyable. All right. Bill complete. Okay, we made all the explosive shells, so we've got some more there. Let's see what everybody's doing. Making a sculpture. Um, hauling chunks to the stockpile. Okay. Resting. Sleeping. Resting. Eating. Making a shell. Good. Cooking. Cooking. Okay. <laughs> That's hilarious, Clope. That's awesome. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mad Muffalo. A local Muffalo has gone mad. It will attack everyone it sees. Okay. So it's over there. All right, so all we have to do is uh, go ahead and go to schedule and just put everyone inside for now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. It's going to go kill this dude. Mosquito. Oh, my goodness. Mosquito came here to trade. He was walking away. And then all of a sudden, this muffalo went crazy and is attacking him. He is not going to make it. Unless he... Oh. Oh, God. Look at the explosion of loot. This is how funny this game is. This is all of the stuff that I just traded him. I can go steal back everything that I sold him. Oh, man. I feel really dirty about that, but we're going to do it, of course. R.I.P mosquito we could take back our sculpture he's got some money he's got some pemmican that axe was actually pretty nice yeah we're just gonna take it all back i'm sorry dude the cave builder all right the muffalo is coming for us by the way so i'm going to just prepare for it and put everybody right here I'm going to slow it down. So the muffalo has to go through the traps. Let's see how it does. All right, here comes muffalo. One, two, dead. Okay. Yeah, the traps are just so good. All right, everybody, you're out of the army. You did a good job. All right, we're going to go ahead and we can eat muffalo. Celebrate. All right, speed it up a little bit. Everybody wants to go back to bed. They're like, God, that was awful. Now that that muffalo is no longer upset, we're going to go ahead and just put everybody so they can leave the compound. And they can run free and be wild and happy. Um, Brexio is no longer inspired. Oh, maybe that's why Brexio was making all those awesome shelves. <laughs> yeah, it's a good question, Captain Duck. So, muffalos are like woolly buffaloes. They're like, they're kind of like sheep, 
mixed with buffaloes is how I see them. They're just some made-up animal. Uh, but you can see I actually have a bunch of buffaloes in my pasture here. And they have like this real shaggy fur. They're great pack animals. They can carry a ton. If you, They're very nice to take with you. Oh, no. Who's got the plague? Oh, God. Okay, all the animals might be dead. Um, this is bad. I don't know if the animal plague can spread to us or not, but I've had the plague kill many of my... I lost three people to the plague last time we had it. So I really, really don't want... Yeah, you're right. It is like a bison. I really don't want this to be... Hopefully this is like a specific animal-related plague and not like we can get this plague because that would be less than ideal marriage is on oh dorto told selby that he wants to spend his life with her selby agreed and they're going to get married fantastic um selva uh, selby's going to change her last name to menvexa well that's fantastic so congratulations we have a marriage spot um and it's right here so when they have the marriage, it'll be held right here and everybody will attend and it'll be a joyous occasion. So this animal does have a minor incident of the plague. Okay, this says this strain is adapted to infecting non-human species. Okay, so good. I mean, if we lose all the animals, like that's fine. But if it gets to the people, then we have a huge problem. All right, let's see how Stanton's doing. Still 4.4. Okay, well, tomorrow we'll get better. Oh, look, Onisan's talking to Lucky. You should really join us. Our place is amazing. You would love it. 6.7. Yes, Onisan's talking to Stanton. 3.2. Now we're talking. We're getting there. Let me see how many bedrooms I have. This is bare... This is Weaves. This is Brexio. Nobody owns it. Dennis, Pete, Onisan, Nitro. Nobody. Nobody. Good. I have plenty of empty bedrooms. I mean, that's sad. They used to all be somebody's bedroom until people started dying, but for now, it's reasonable. Look at this. This is MVP. This is like my favorite thing. So we trained this Mega Sloth and it can haul. So he just went out to go. Oh, can I give this Mega Sloth a name now? Oh, I thought I could. Sometimes you can name it. Um, It's fully trained. I was able to name the other Mega Sloth, but maybe that's because it came a pet. Anyway, um, the the Mega Sloths just do work. Like they they haul people things. It's awesome. Yeah, Popper is our MVP Mega Sloth. Popper kills mechs that come on defoliator ships. That's how good Popper is. Okay, we actually got it to 406 blocks of granite, which is so fantastic. So I'm going to build a bunch more traps um, to, you know, complete our defenses. There we go in the kill box. Okay, tremendous. Minor break risk for what, Nitro? What's up with you, dude? No, oh, he's sleeping, he's fine. All right. How are we doing on steel? We have only 66. So um, this requires 
a ton of steel, plasteel, and uranium, and advanced components. How are we doing on advanced components? We have two. Yeah, so we need a bunch of those as well. But we could be putting the ship together. They just haven't gotten to it yet. Nitro, what are you up to, dude? He wants to haul. Okay, so he's doing that above the bill of making advanced components. And the reason is why. What does this take? Components, steel, plasteel, and gold. We actually have all of this stuff. So this job is um, crafting. Okay, so I need to go to... Nitro's work and set crafting above hauling. So he should start making stuff for us now. Hauling is great, but he's extremely... Um, he's pretty good at crafting, so he should be able to make... Yeah, here he goes. Oh, now, now he's got to go do this. Well, Oh, he just made steel... Oh, yes. An exotic goods trader is passing by. Fantastic. So, what we do is we go and call them on the communicator here. And we can see what they have to trade. All right. So, they've got... They're an exotic goods trader, but they have, like, elk. I guess those are exotic. Oh, my God. They have advanced components. Yep, we need all of them. We need, yeah, we need a lot of this stuff. They have a bunch of Glitter World medicine, too. All right, let's see what we can sell them. So they will buy all of our sculptures, which is great. Buy these, please. Thank you. They will buy this masterwork sculpture. Tremendous. All right, so this is why we're making the sculptures, so we can sell them for these expensive items. And let's see. They'll buy some animals. We honestly have too many animals. So we have, let's see. Let's sell them the sick animals. How about this? Do you think they'd be upset? No, they would be. Um, we have so many muffalos. It's got the plague. Do you still want to buy it? Buyer beware. All right. Um, pregnant female muffalo. And then we have another female muffalo. I'll trade two muffalos away to make some space, get some cash. Okay. And let's see. Anything else I want to sell? No. No. But do they have anything else I want to buy? I have 6,000 silver, so I have a, a good amount. I'm buying... Um, I have 97 components, which is pretty reasonable amount. Um, I have a bunch of neutro aiming to, as well. I think this is pretty good. I mean, 8 advanced components is very, very good. The Glitter World Medicine should help us with any kind of future medical problems, getting a better chance to survive. They do have um, some skill trainers. Uh, you know what? God, they have organs. Okay. Um, <laughs> the Doomsday Rocket Launcher, that could protect us. Um... This is good, like bionic eyes and things like that. I might buy some skill trainers. Just to boost up our people a bit. I wish they had medical. 
Hey, thank you, Clope. Yeah, I heard that. That one seems awesome. Yeah, because, like, I was playing Clan Folk, and you can actually have progeny in that game, or Dwarf Fortress you can, but this you can't. 